Welcome to the American Rapper with your host, Grafton. Okay, uh, looks like uh, the Republicans took the House, so there definitely is a clear mandate uh, for Trump uh, to reduce taxes, reduce government, and uh, worthless wars. Um, going back, but here's the thing. Uh, They've had a hundred years of entrenching themselves in their positions. Uh, how successful Trump can be has yet to be seen. I would uh, advise to shut down the government so long that the paper pushers are forced to get a job elsewhere. But let's see. Um, what decision does has to say? Uh, okay. The Republicans uh, got 52-46. Uh, majority uh, election. Okay. So, um, so that's not going to be a problem. Okay. Uh, they would hold at least 218 House seats. Uh, they still have eight races yet to be called, so how strong that's going to be, we don't know. Uh, okay. Now, term, uh, uh, Biden signed a one trillion infrastructure uh, law, something that we can't afford. Uh, by contrast, during the past two years of divided government, uh, mm -hmm. Good. He had low success in spending our money on worthless projects, but yet they have plenty of money to send to Ukraine and Israel. You know, supplies are both. Uh, they're funding both sides of the war. Oh, what we're giving to Gaza is hum humanitarian aid. Yeah. So Gaza no longer has to pocket money for that humanitarian aid. They can now use that money to spend on weapons. Okay. Okay. Yeah, getting rid of Kevin uh, McCarthy was good. Um, still would like to see Jim Jordan in there. Uh, Trump's grip on the party, it's a hardliner, uh, has been far firmer as evidenced by success this year. Yeah, he's got more MAGA Republicans in there than rhinos and neocons. Uh, we know those rhinos and neocons really like their money, especially their war money, because it's not their sons uh, going to war. I'm surprised Biden, after his son Bo, didn't switch sides, but um, party lo loyalty and brainwashing is a thing in uh, D.C. Uh, the current cost year deadlines for funding government to avoid shutdowns at Christmas, and it's Ending Washington's barring authority to avoid an historic debt default. The only thing I would like to see them do is keep the debt default because once the debt default, uh, once they default on debt, it's over for the U.S. But there should be absolutely no more spending until Congress, uh, you know has very little um, oversight, you know, a congressman, maybe each congressman has three or four employees, that's it. Uh, the only thing the U.S. should be responsible for is the uh, Global Ambassadorship Program and for self-defense. Okay. So do you think it's going to be a good idea just to shut down the government completely until people quit? Okay. 